everybody. I am on here to make a full commitment. Ever since I moved here, my lifestyle completely changed. So when we came to France, all I did was eat bread, pasta, cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream, sugar, chocolate, basically anything that had dairy, sugar, butter, or carbs in it. I just ate it all. I ate it all. And all of my so like all of my fitness, I guess, kind of went away. So I didn't get fat, um, but I got a little bit squishy, got a little bit soft. I lost a lot of strength, I lost a lot of flexibility, and my face was breaking out like crazy, and I was just having a really tough time. Fast forward a couple months, and I got a terrible, terrible flu for like a week and a half straight. I couldn't eat anything, so I seriously lost tons of weight. Now I don't step on scales so I can't really quantify it for you, but I swear my all my clothes were big and I actually tried on my wedding dress during that time and my wedding dress was huge. It was like it looked like I was a little kid trying to put on my mom's clothes, you know? And so it really depressed me because I'm already quite petite and quite small and this was something that I definitely never never wanted. I never am trying to lose weight even when I'm I'm like setting out on some kind of health and wellness goal. I'm always looking to get stronger, to get more, uh, I don't know, like I want my body to be more efficient, more effective, I guess. Um, so weight loss is never really my goal. But all that to say that with this going up and down, I've totally lost any semblance of balance. And so now committing to, today's March 31st, tomorrow, April 1st, I am starting, and this is not an April Fool's joke, by the way, I am starting a kind of quick 30-day self-created, self-imposed journey to balance and wellness all over again. So I'm actually going to give up sugar, not like fruit sugar, not like a little bit of honey in my oatmeal sugar, but like chocolate and candy and ice cream. I'm giving it up for 30 days committing to it. The other thing I'm committing to is doing yoga every day. And not just yoga, but I want to, like I said, my wedding dress is too big. I want to like feel awesome. I want to put on my clothes and be like, yeah, I look good. And not because I'm skinny, but because I look strong and I look like I do something with myself. So I'm changing up my yoga routine and I'm making a, a little bit more of a stronger practice. And I'm gonna track how this does. I'm gonna see how it looks because um, this kind of ties into something else that I'm doing this summer. And I know you guys are gonna be really uh, excited about it. Some of you are gonna hate me for it, but some of you are gonna be really excited about it. So this is my journey. This is gonna be one month and I am really going to, I'm really gonna to stick to it. I'm really gonna do it. And I know that this kind of sounds really kind of off uh, the bad yogi ethos, kind of away from what I typically do because I eat a lot of chocolate and I drink a lot of wine. But um, I think the thing that I, would, that I would really emphasize here is that bad yogi is not all about making you eat hamburgers and have a lot of chocolate and have a lot of wine and have a lot of whatever, you know, all of the indulgences. It's not about doing that, but it's about understanding that wherever you are in your journey, whether it's at the very beginning and you're eating McDonald's every day, or whether you're at the other end of your journey and you're having kale salads and warm water with lemon and you haven't even seen a cup of coffee in six years, um, wherever you are in that journey, you are welcome at Bad Yogi, and Bad Yogi is a community that invites everyone. So it's not necessarily about you know being one way or being another. It's about not judging anybody for where they are. So that goes for me too. You know, even though I'm not having sugar or not having chocolate, um, I still will have some wine though. I'm I'm gonna work wine into the rotation. But anyway, the point is that I don't want you to feel like this is anything coming from me judging anybody wherever you're at. Um, this is because I want to do it. And anytime you make a change to your lifestyle, it has to be because you truly, definitely want it. So let me say that again. If you're making a change, you have to want it. It cannot come from anybody else. Honestly, even when your doctor tells you to make a change, if you're not ready to, it's never gonna stick. So moral of the story is I'm making this change for myself because I wanna feel good and I wanna feel strong again and that's why I'm doing this so we will see how it goes and yeah 
that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to be vlogging every day about this to kind of give you my progress. And um, because I'll be off sugar, you know, I'll be kind of doing a little vlog diary about how that's going. So check in, subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure that you're staying up to date and let me know if you're doing something similar or if you ever have. And that'll be that. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.